up YouTube this is my uh, dwarf hamster breeding project and uh, one second. there's Luna eating but yeah these are all my dwarf hamsters that's my adult male and this is my female right there they gave birth to all these little guys running around uh, the little bit bigger ones like that that's their last batch that's their new batch I just let them play around in this top thing. I usually let them run around on the, the whole black piece up here, but <clears throat> they jumped off, so had to put a cage. But yeah, what I feed them is just sometimes a mixture of hamster food, and when I don't have hamster food, you can feed them dog food. It makes no difference, really. It's all the proteins and stuff they need. Uh, I have them on some corn corn mix substrate it's from old corn you buy them in the stores dollar stores stuff like that uh they drink out of that because <clears throat> they drink usually out of the water bottles because when you have them in say a water dish like this they tend to carry their dead well their babies in there and leave them and they drowned so yeah it's not that good so it's just better to start them off automatically on little water bottle things. Um, what I've noticed is they always try to chew through things, so get metal if you can. You know what I mean? I have this little plastic cage on here where I put the babies, but uh, they chew. They chew through the sides. I don't know if you can see a little bit. Can't. I have a phone, so probably not the best of pictures, but yeah, they chew. Let's see another water bottle. Um, what else? The mother rats looking at us. What else? Um, basically they breed like crazy. I've owned these dwarf hamsters for about two months now and they already had a lot of babies. There was even more than this. It's just they sold a few and stuff like that. So, yeah. Pays for the rest of the food and the rats food and things like that. I feed the rats dog food only. They do good on it. So yeah. Always watch out when the mother's around her babies. She does get very aggressive. They're all huddling next to the parents now. <laughs> but yeah. I don't go in fancy and buy them like homes and stuff. I buy them their cage, but then I put old little boxes of things that they chew through. They make nests on the floor. They like going through toilet paper rolls. I mean, probably throw this one out. It's soaking, disgusting. Uh, same thing with them. I give them gold label, you know, Jay Z perfume box. See, even in there, I put them either on newspaper bedding, boxed homes. They do good, even with my, uh, sorry my room's a mess. I got a whole bunch of just new equipment and stuff like that for my fish tanks I took apart. I had, uh, I have actually a 180 gallon aquarium in the basement with an alligator gar, a few Oscars in it and stuff like that. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I got all this yesterday for free. Some lady dropped off a bunch of ball pythons, two small ones, and she dropped off a king snake, which is in here, which came with the back, one in the back. I don't know where it is. Don't want to get too big, so I don't know if it's friendly or not, but it's here, somewhere. Oh yeah, it's back there. It's beautiful. This thing. Hides a lot, let it be. But yeah, what I was, what I was gonna say is, you just let them have these little basket things I got for free too. That's my hairless rat. They're good. Newspaper bedding probably should be changed. Dog food, bottled water, stuff like that. <laughs> these are all the rats I feed my snakes. Shouldn't make friends with them though. It's, it's gonna be bad when I feed them. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, like my snakes and stuff. Even my iguana, I have them on plantation soil. It's made for um, reptiles and stuff. It is very uh, dusty, which I don't like. But it's for the price, you can't go wrong. For a boat, I think I spent six bucks. And I filled up this whole thing and my snake tank. And look how high it, it is. It's about an inch high. Yeah. With them too, I just use normal cardboard boxes, shoe box. Put a little hole in it, they go, water dish, don't go in a fancy little pot, plant piece of wood. No. They're all really nice. Alright, all right, guys. Yeah, they are insane. I didn't even know I bought a male and female hamster. At the time, I went to some safari pet store in Montreal. And uh, my girlfriend here just wanted something. And I'm like, alright, get, get these two. I didn't even know how expensive they were. They ended up costing me 40 bucks for just two of them. The mother and father, but they're breeding like crazy. So the money I got back from them selling their babies and stuff I already paid off for the parents. So uh, I don't mind. And plus, my girlfriend asked, so I really can't say no. <laughs> they're going crazy. Yeah, they're all trying to escape. They actually jump. This is about uh, like maybe three feet off the ground right here, and they just. Kamikaze, you know what I mean? They just jump right on the floor. Bam. I think it's time to put them back, so I'll make more videos coming up soon about I guess rats. Anything here. Just subscribe, comment, ask me what we wanna see and learn. I'll hopefully I can help you guys out with that. Alright, peace.